American Cancer Society's Big Dig is an event in Omaha where kids can play out their Tonka t- truck dreams in real life. The event benefits Hope Lodge, Nebraska, which is a free place that folks can stay at for those receiving cancer treatment with their families. You can join them September 12th between 1 and 4 at the new H&H dealership off Highway 370 and 150th Street. Get all the details at 1620thezone.com. As we mentioned, Trev Alberts did an interview with Tom Chattel earlier this week. And there were a couple of things, a couple of snippets in there, quotes from Trev Alberts that I thought were particularly interesting. One of them was, your job in this role, he's talking about his role, is to set the tone. First of all, Nebraska is good enough. People in this state have a long history of doing just fine. Will Bolt and his baseball team are tough, Hmm. not afraid of anybody, and do things the right way all the time. Nebraskans can identify with that. I like people who work hard. I have no hobbies. It's my family and work. That's all I do. I want people who work hard, hate to lose, and do things the right way. But I don't think you can expect your coaches and department to do that if the leadership isn't doing it too. Interesting that he names Will Bolt by name. Yes. Um, that he brings him up. Now, he volition. is the most successful right no, now. No, I know. I And, and look, uh, I know everyone wants coaches. to infer, and, and I'm going to try not to do too much here. But I was reminded this morning is how I'll I'll couch this opinion. I was reminded about what happened before the series versus Arkansas. So they get picked to go to Arkansas to the Fayetteville Regional. Mm-hmm. We're all like, "What the hell? This is the yeah, best we thought that, two we, seed." <laughs> we thought there was no way Nebraska was going to be this low in the pecking order. And they have to go play at the number one team in the country. And I remembered a story. From uh, one Stephen M. Sipple. He told it on the air multiple times about how he was there at the the um, you know the watch party, if mm-hmm. you will. And it, wow, you know that's where you have to go. And the reaction from the team, I don't remember who it was, was like, "Yeah, take care of you know, go there and play some baseball." Meanwhile, a lot of us are like, "Wow, they got screwed. They got screwed. Mm-hmm. They got screwed." The fans, and I think that's fine. That's what we're able to do. But them as a team, no excuse making, none at all. Um, I'm guessing, and they came that close. And to they winning. came that close, man. I'm guessing Trev likes that type of attitude. Control, oh, I know he control likes that what you can control, and don't cry about you know spilled milk. Because, frank, quite frankly, there's been a lot of excuse making. Mm-hmm. The other part was, he said, "What are your habits? You have to have championship habits all the time. It's not a sometime deal. You're looking for people to do the right things all the time." That's why it doesn't do me any good to throw out that I expect to win eight games every year. With the exception of Ohio State's run, a lot of Big Ten teams have exceptional years, and they may come back and go 7-5. and five. But we're not going to get to that if we don't have championship habits in our administration, coaching staff, and players. It's a great quote. It's a great quote, having those habits at all times, you know? And how does that, and then how does that show itself? What do you want to see? What mm-hmm. what would tell him that someone does or does not have those type of habits all the time? You know, I thought going back to the first one that you had about where he basically said, like, I, I work and I spend time with my family. You know, that, that was also pretty interesting, the focus, the drive that he's going to have just for his job. Now, I, I don't think he's necessarily expecting that, I agree. that John Cook is, you know... Live here. You're, gonna, you're either going to live here or you're going to live at home, but you're not going to go anywhere or you're not going to do anything. Yeah. I mean, he's not... I don't think he's necessarily saying that. He's just describing what he does. Mm-hmm. But the part about having championship habits... Mm-hmm. I'm guessing there's a few championship habits that are missing right now. Absolutely, yes. Okay. Which has which that's a has, kind way to say it. But which yes. has led to where we currently sit. Correct. It's hard to uh, it's hard to argue the opposite. It would be it, it'd be disingenuous if, if you're telling me here in year four mm-hmm. that what they are doing has been exhibiting and displaying championship habits, and you're getting these results... Yeah, what's going on? Then maybe someone's definition of championship habits is different. Mm? Perhaps. But I thought those were a couple of interesting points, and, and yeah. And? The, bringing up Will Bolt... Yeah, that... that like he did. I mean, yeah. that's... To be honest with you, when you look at how things have played out, over the last handful of years, that baseball team exemplified a lot of the characteristics 
that idealistically Nebraska fans look for in all of their teams. Mm -hmm. They really do. And he was in year (laughs) 1.2. He really didn't. He didn't have a first year. He He had a first three weeks. He didn't. So really, it was his first full season. A couple other things that stood out to me from that, um, and this was Chattel's writing, but he wrote, Albert says he attended two or three practices, or he's attended two or three practices per week. As a former player, he knows what he's seeing during a game, and he's not afraid to ask Frost about specifics. The other thing was he's already involved. He met with Frost last Sunday and plans to meet with the coach every Sunday. Um, I, I just found that really, really interesting. And this is now the second straight athletic director, John, and the third out of the last four that played college football. Um, you know, and Tom Osborne played in the pros. Uh, you know, Trev played in the pros. So I found I found that um, th- those quotes there though, pretty interesting. And there was another one. You know, I forgot to write this one down on my sheet, but it, essentially. You, Boiling down was like I'm not trying to micromanage, mm-hmm. you know. But like he said, he can ask about specific because he knows the game, and so that that's you know, it's fascinating. It's fascinating. Yeah, it is a different, is it definitely a different approach than the one that Bill Moose had. Uh, yeah, definitely a different approach. And you know, I, I said it a few weeks ago. It feels like there's now an adult in the room. Mm-hmm. And that's that's not only going to exhibit or attempt to exhibit championship habits, but adult habits as well. And listen, I have been I have been in management transitions where it went from kind of a loosey goosey, you know, let the let the boys play type of environment to more of a button-down professional environment. Mm-hmm. And it can be a very difficult transition mm-hmm. for folks who have gotten used to a let-the-boys-be-boys boys type of environment. And those people didn't last very long. Mm-hmm. And I don't remember too many who just were able to successfully make the adjustment. And there were a lot of changes. I'm, that's just my own personal no, experience. Exactly. But I'm guessing there's a few of you out there who've probably had that happen too when you've had a management change. Mm-hmm. And that's not to say that Trev Alberts doesn't like to have a good time, but I think his if the results aren't on the his his his, his form of a good time is competing. Yeah. Winning. Winning. Yeah. Uh, Josh says baseball gets a horrible draw on the tourney, and you hear no one complain. Frost complains on a daily basis. It is like when I thought of that. that that's I mean, it really, Josh, it stood out to me. It stood out to me how Nebraska baseball handled that situation. Well, especially it really did. Especially when you think back to last football season, they they won a they won a year and they get it back. And the first reaction to the schedule is this is hard. It's like, damn, man, mm-hmm. you wanted this thing, and that's your first reaction. Not, we can't wait to play. We're going to go up against a playoff contender in week one. That's awesome. Let's find out how good we are. This is hard. Glaring. Like, come on. And then, yeah, baseball gets screwed. Uh, They got screwed. They did. I thought they got hosed, too. Not one to pretend that I follow the season on a daily basis. But, come on, we all know that they got put in a bad spot. And they didn't say a word about it. And then they went and backed that up and took them to the brink. Mm -hmm. Took them to the brink. Coming up, we got a great week one. Some storylines to look for as we head into the week. And we've got our keys to the game, our predictions for the game, our prop bets. Oh. And it's One Beer Friday. We're going to be cracking open beers. Mm. We, t- we had to take last week off. Mm. So we probably are owed a couple of beers mm. here on 1620 The Zone. Hey, everyone. Josh Peterson here for the FanDuel Sportsbook. Like John just mentioned, week one is here. And right now, all com- customers, you can get a risk-free bet on any week one game. 
in college football. What do you do? Of course, you head to the FanDuel Sportsbook, whether it's the website, whether it is the app, and if you do not win, no worries, you get a refund in site credit. I'm looking at it right now. We were wondering all week long, what is FanDuel going to do with Fordham at Nebraska? Nebraska, 43.5 point favorite. The total sits at 54.5. We'll be talking about this a lot more in predictions, but I am leaning the team from the Bronx. Head to the app choice of yours. Download the app store of your choice, rather. Download the FanDuel Sportsbook app today. Put in my promo code Josh162. And if you are a new customer, you can also get a risk-free bet for up to $1,000. That's right. The FanDuel Sportsbook promo code Josh162. 21 plus and present in Iowa. Refund issued is not with trouble. Site credit that expires in seven days. Max refund $10 unless otherwise indicated. Restrictions do apply. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-BETS-OFF.